Hey DIYers, Dylan here with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to review the 4219 8 zone wired expander. Uh, so this is going to be for the Vista panels, specifically the 15P, the 20P, and the 21 or 21 IP LTE. Uh, so essentially what this is, the Vista boards have eight zone terminals that you can be uh, that can be set up with wire sensors. And if you need to use anything past that eight, you have the option of adding a zone expander. So it's gonna give you an extra eight options. Uh, so if you need more wired sensors attached, you get one of these, wire the sensors to this device, and then this will connect with your Vista system to allow more wired sensors to be used. Uh, so just a quick overview of this. Uh, right here we have the power and data connection terminals. And then you also have this wire, which is included, which can connect to the slots right above these terminals. Makes it a little bit easier for wiring if you don't have your own wiring available. But if you do have your own wiring, you can just connect right here to these terminals and then have that connect to the Vista panel. At the bottom here, these are the zone terminals. Uh, so similar to how the Vista series uh, panels have their zone terminals, you'll have an active terminal, a ground, and then some of the zones actually share a ground. So you'll have two active uh, terminals to one ground terminal. Uh, very easy setup for the wiring. And then the uh, device does come with a wiring guide. And then we also have guides on our website as well, available to view. All right, and then uh, what we'll also review today here is the dip switches for this device. Essentially what the dip switches do, it tells the Vista panel what zone numbers in programming these devices are, go are going to be used for. All right, so let's just go a little bit more in detail about the dip switches. Okay, so we have the 4219 here. Uh, and just to kind of go over it once more real quick. So again, we have the power and data connection terminals right here. Uh, in order, the top one is your data out. The second one down is the ground or common terminal. Third one down is the active or 12 VDC terminal, also gonna be power. And then the final one down is our data in. Uh, so this is one way to connect the zone expander to your Vista system to have them essentially talk to each other. And then you do also have this included wire which comes with the 4219. This has some connectors here which go to the pins directly above these terminals. And then we have the wires here to connect them with our Vista panel. So you have two ways of setting that up with the Vista system. Uh, on the bottom here is our zone terminals. So we'll have an active terminal and a common or ground terminal, pretty similar to the uh, terminals on the Vista panel itself. So if you've done some wiring with the Vista panel, this should be very, very simple for you. We have right here a reed switch or a tamper switch. This is essentially a magnet that can be set up to uh, trigger an alert if someone takes the cover off this device. And now let's go on to the main part, the dip switches. So the dip switches are pretty important as this is how you're gonna tell the Vista panel what zones in programming this is gonna be set up with. Uh, so just a quick kind of overview of the switches. The first switch all the way here, this is essentially the speed, the response time. Uh, so by default, this comes in the off position where the switch is up. Uh, that's going to have this respond within about 10 milliseconds. So pretty much right when something is triggered here, it's going to notify this expander, which will then notify your alarm system. Uh, the address switches, essentially how we're going to tell the panel uh, what zones are going to be programmed with this, are going to be switches 2 all the way through 6. And then the addresses... Uh, that you're gonna use with the 15P, the 20P, or the 21IP systems. Uh, those are addresses seven through 11. So you'll only wanna focus on those addresses. And with the 4219 comes a little info card to help you out and determine what switches go where and what the addresses fall under. So you see we have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. That's what we're focusing on right there. Okay, uh, so also we have dip number seven. 
as you see that's the one that I have uh, I'm sorry dip number six as you see I have that uh, set in the on position when you're working with the 15p the 20p or the 21 IP you always want number six in the on position uh, seven that is if we want to use end-of-line resistors uh, which also come with the 4219 comes with a little resistor pack here these are used when you wire your zones to the terminals it's very uh, it's very much suggested to use the resistors so for that you will want the dip switch set into the off position so again up is off and then finally number eight that goes back to that tamper switch I mentioned before uh, so you can have this enabled or disabled so if you want the tamper detection on you're gonna have this set in the off position if you want the tamper uh, detection disabled you'll have that in the on position so downwards seems backwards but that's essentially how those are set up and then with the tamper as I mentioned there's a little magnet right there and then on the inside cover you will see this is the magnet so when this is installed these two line up and then when this is taken away that magnet goes away from the read switch triggering the tamper alert if you have that dip switch set to have that enabled so again in the off position okay so we have our 4219 uh, we're going to focus on the dip switches here this is how we're going to tell this what zones on our alarm panel our wired sensors are going to be programmed to so for the uh, dressing mainly dip switches two three four and five are what you're going to focus on as that's going to set the zones currently we have this set to address seven so we have uh, number two off which is in the up position down is on uh, so we have two off three off four off and five on so this is going to tell our alarm system that zones 9 through 16 is what we're going to be focusing on and that's where our zones are going to be programmed to now you can also program this to address number 8 which is going to be zones 17 through 24 and let's go ahead and switch the dip switches so we can get it programmed to that address okay so I've changed the dip switches off camera uh, but let's just review real quick so I've changed dip number two to the on position uh, I've changed dip number three and four as well to the on position and then I've set number five uh, to the off position so once again on is when these are down if you have it uh, facing this way uh, so right now we are set to address number eight so if I'm programming my zones, I'm going to be focusing on zones 17 through 24. Okay, so that is the 4219 zone expander. We reviewed the dip switches and went over a bit about the terminals in general. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when we release more videos. Uh, feel free to contact us with any questions as well. Our phone number is 888-818-7728. And you can also contact us via email. The email address is support at alarmgrid.com. Once again, my name is Dylan, and thank you for watching.